Dr. Matt Barber here with your post-operative exercises after joint replacement surgery. This protocol is intended to serve as a standalone, self-directed physical therapy protocol, or it can be used in conjunction with the supervision of a physical therapist and relies on a few basic exercises. The first is a short walk. So every hour after joint replacement surgery while you're awake, take a short walk. A short walk is not out to your mailbox or in the driveway. It's just to the bathroom or to the kitchen, somewhere close by in your home. It's a good idea to have some sort of reminder if you wanna set an alarm on your phone, if you wanna turn on a timer in the kitchen or somewhere else that forces you to get up. Just remember, you wanna take that walk every hour. That's very important for preventing blood clots and for preventing pneumonia after joint replacement surgery. The second exercise is a calf squeeze or ankle pump. And when you do this, it's not a matter of moving your ankle back and forth, but you wanna push down, contract this muscle on the back of your calf really hard. That helps to recirculate your blood and helps prevent blood clots. You wanna do each of those for about three seconds, relax, another three seconds, relax, for a total of 10 repetitions. So you've made a short walk and you've done 10 ankle pumps. At this point, ask yourself a question. Did I have a hip replacement or a knee replacement? If you had a hip replacement, you're done. Uh, sit, elevate your leg to a comfortable level, ice the area if you need to, and rest until it's time to do those again. If you had a knee replacement, you've got two more exercises to do. The first of those is a heel slide or knee bend. With this exercise, the focus is on bending the knee as far as up as it will go. When the knee is bent or flexed as much as it will, cheat forward with your body and squeeze a few more degrees out of that till it's just starting to get a little bit tight, a little bit uncomfortable. Hold for two to three seconds, relax, do it again. So we slide back like this, Cheat forward, tight, 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 and then relax. 10 repetitions of those. The final exercise is a knee extension. It can be done on a bed or a table where you press the leg flat. For a lot of folks, it works well to plant your heel on the floor. You can also use a short ottoman or a chair. and focus on getting the knee straight. Doesn't have to be a ton of pressure. You don't want anyone else pushing on it, but you can take your hands and assist, push towards full extension. Again, we wanna hold that for two or three seconds. That will be uncomfortable the first few days after surgery. Hold, relax, relax that for a few seconds. And again, hold that extension for two or three seconds. A total of 10 of those. So at this point, you're done. You had a short walk, ankle pumps, knee flexion, and knee extension if you had a knee replacement. Those exercises should take about seven or eight minutes to do. Then you wanna spend about 40 minutes with your knee very elevated, toes above your nose, for approximately 40 minutes with cold packs or your ice machine on the knee. This helps to reduce the swelling, reduce the edema around the knee. It helps control pain and keeps the knee from, from getting that really severe swelling that can limit your motion. If you're diligent about doing this every hour while you're awake for the first couple of weeks after knee replacement, your motion and your walking is going to improve much more quickly. These exercises should serve as the cornerstone of your physical therapy after joint replacement. As with any protocol of this nature, compliance is the science. If you will do these exercises diligently every hour while you're awake, you can expect to have an excellent result from your surgery and return to your normal activities sooner. Now, 
Everyone will vary. If you have any questions about your progress or anything going on with your condition, contact our office immediately.